Hello everyone and welcome to Big Ambitions. So today we're checking out this new update. It was just released a couple of days ago. Uh, they introduced a lot of new stuff, such as the hairdresser business, um, electric scooters, theft and security, and a bunch of wonderful other stuff. Uh, it's very nice to see that we now have city atmosphere. So pedestrians are on the streets, like you can see here, so no more empty streets, which uh, helps with the environment and the way the game feels. So yeah, let's just jump into it. So I already started a new game. I worked my way up to have a healthy amount of money. I did that through clothing shops, which although have been nerfed this patch, uh, they still provide a healthy amount of money. And now I'm just gonna focus on the hairdress business. I also have a nightclub, which I made um, earlier. It's doing okay, I still need to, to deep dive into it uh, and we'll do that at a later stage. But right now, let's find a suitable place for our new hairdresser business. So right now, I'm thinking to open up shop in either Midtown or Hell's Kitchen. And the best way to understand the market is using EconoView. In here, we can see the market demand for hair care products. And that some districts are better than others in terms of how much demand they have. But most importantly, we're looking at citizen data. Hell's Kitchen has 82 middle class, while Midtown is mostly upper class. This is important because it will have an impact on how much rent we will pay, depending on the zone. Since I know nothing about this business, and currently in Midtown the only place I like is very large in size and very pricey, I don't want to take the risk of renting something expensive. So Hell's Kitchen it is. So I'm just gonna settle for this building right here. I think it has a good traffic index and up to 30 people capacity, which for a test business I think is perfect. What's not very nice is that we have a competitor next door, but hopefully we'll do better than them. So now that the building is ours, we need a name for our business, and I'm thinking that Harry Styles would do it justice. All right, so now that we got it, um, the next step is selecting a logo, fonts and colors. I'm thinking something in line of with a yellow color, maybe yellow and black, I don't know, just keep it simple. And now that that's done, let's go visit this place. As it is with any other business in this game, we need some specific items in order to get started. So let's order them, go to bed, have them delivered to us, and then we can decorate the interior. Now that the items have been delivered, we can start decorating. This is a process I enjoy because it just allows me to get in my creative space. I'm not a very creative person as you will probably see through this playthrough, but I'm trying to do my best to come up with nice designs. So one thing I found interesting about this business is that the hairdresser sign cannot be placed outside. For whatever reason, we can only place it inside. The other items that are part of this update is to do with the theft and security. So we have security cameras. There are two types, the swivel ones, which we can see here. These basically cover 360, but because we can only place them on a wall or pillar, you will have half of that blocked. So to counter this, we also have dome security cameras, which we can place directly on the ceiling and they can see everything. So now that we got the essentials out of the way, we can focus more on decorating. So I'm thinking to get some sofas, some plants, just to make the place nicer. And of course, we'll need some shelves to store our products that we sell. So 
So now the place really starts to take shape and I'm really proud of um, the way it looks at the moment. We just need to put everything in and then we can focus on coloring the walls and selecting some flooring and perhaps add a few unique touches to the furniture. We cannot forget about our employees. We need them to run the business. And I can see there are a couple of different types. One of them being the security guard. This is part of the update for the theft and security. We will definitely need one. Then we'll need our hairstylists and also we'll need customer service and cleaning. Also part of this wonderful update is the way the candidates are now presented to you. So previously it would be just in the phone app in, as a message. Now you can find them in the My Employees app in the candidates section and you can multi-select them to either hire, fire them or assign them to different businesses which I find wonderful. I'm looking for my employees right now to be full-time and have the best primary skill percent possible because we can train them later on but we want to start on a good note. Now we're just going to make a few adjustments to our schedule. We want to be open for longer than eight hours and we'll need a few more people to fill out all those positions. Now that this is done, it's time to focus on our interior design. So I'm thinking to keep things simple, make the shop look clean, look nice. So white flooring, texture wall, and some nice accents for some of the furniture elements. Since we have a yellow logo, I'm thinking to include some yellow elements into the furniture. In the next part, we'll ask our new purchasing agent to make a contract with this import export warehouse. So they will be delivering our products to our warehouse and then the warehouse will send it to our shop whenever it is needed. Now, unfortunately, because we hired all these people, but our business was not open they decided to resign because obviously they were not making any money so now we'll have to go again through the hiring process and cover up all those shifts that just resigned Alright, so now that that's out of the way, we want to test the market by increasing the prices slowly and see where the breakpoint is. So because we placed this product shelf next to the wall for whatever reason the AI thinks that it needs to go behind it to get the products which causes it to stop to get stuck so I'm just gonna have to move it closer to the cashier and hopefully that's the solution So thanks everyone for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I think the update is bringing valuable fixes and improvements and the new businesses are definitely interesting and fun to create. 